we don't know what will be the future of uh, such a uh, high-tech technology. There was a concern here about this laboratory being eaten up by much larger laboratories in Europe. Can we save enough means in order to keep the leadership? I think we need to build uh, one single R&D uh, for one single offer for one single company. We are the leading company today in, uh, globally in R&D and R&D organization wants to be really the technical business partner for all of the groups. The Mitter Group is a recently created group with a lot of needs concerning the transfer of knowledge from R&D to the plants. So when we first had the opportunity to meet people uh, from Metal R&D uh, Chicago, we were quite happy because it was a matter of um, exchanging uh, new things, new ideas, and doing that freely. So the most important thing is to get uh, our cooperative projects uh, started and get the company to benefit. So in North America, we are currently facing an increasing demand for usable grade, and so there is very clear quick win for this product. Nos bobines d'usibor partent par bateau aux États-Unis, donc on sait très bien qu'il y a tout ce qui est corrosion par sel de mer. Donc à ce moment-là, si c'est directement fabriqué sur le continent américain, on réglera énormément de problèmes de corrosion. It is a very tricky product because it's the only one where the customer is involved to perform both uh, farming and metallurgical operations. There is a huge need for technical assistance. We couldn't uh, perform the technical assistance to the North American plants as well as people from Metal R&D are doing uh, currently. I think that it is an advantage now to have a lab in the US. Our colleagues in, uh, in East Chicago have a lot of short-term development. They are really uh, answering to the requirement of the customers. The position of the Metal R&D and the Acero's R&D are the same. The R&D has to be business oriented and we are on the same wavelength on that. One difference I do note though in Arcelor R&D because of their size uh, is that they are uh, capable of producing some uh, products more cutting edge uh, five or six years out that are not necessarily as market driven. At the end of the day, what we are doing also, we are defending our material. We are in competition with other materials. I believe the environment issues are, are an opportunity for our solar mill in the future. Today, 40% of the global energy consumption is related to the construction sector. So we develop products that reflect more than 80% of the light uh, emitted by the source, so we contribute to the reduction of greenhouse gases. This is really uh, an important project because for the first time we are fighting against aluminum. What is interesting is that the selling price of such products is very high in comparison with classical products of ArcelorMittal Group. Both R&D here and R&D in Arcelor has been very successful and the leaders within their own region Today we have double the size of the group and that means with the same funding we are able to use the knowledge created by our R&D project worldwide and that means we have doubled basically the profitability of our R&D project. If these success stories are really shared between people in North America and in Europe I think that could be a, a real way of building a team.